This Thursday, President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump are set to face off the debate stage for the first time this election cycle. Neither presumptive presidential nominee took part in primary debates. For more on this, let's bring in CBS News campaign reporters Olivia Rinaldi and Aaron Navarro. Uh, Aaron, to you first. Biden is at Camp David doing debate prep intensive. What do we know about how he's preparing? Hi, Vlad. Sources tell CBS News they are starting with more informal policy sessions, talking through the topics before getting to mock debates. And the president is surrounded by tons of top and senior advisors, uh, Ron Klain, Anita Dunn. Uh, Jake Sullivan will also be there to advise on foreign policy. And we know that his personal lawyer, Bob Bauer, will play the role of Trump when they get to the mock debates later this week. This is something that he did in the 2020 debates for President Biden as well. Um, so, Olivia, I have read that uh, President Biden likes a lot of preparation. That's his thing. Uh, how's Donald Trump preparing for this? A little differently? Not quite the same as President Biden is. We know that Trump has been on the trail. He was in Philadelphia this weekend. And sources with the Trump campaign tell me they're having these informal policy discussions. That's kind of what they're doing. They're very off the riff. They're very informal, happening quickly. I'm also told they're happening with some allies and aides, including some potential vice presidential candidates. We do know that Senator Marco Rubio was someone who had one of those discussions with Trump when he was in Washington. We also know that Sen Senator J.D. Vance of Ohio is someone that Trump has spoken to a little bit about these policy discussions. But they tell me that it's not formal debate prep. That is something they have stressed over and over again. It's not formal prep like Biden is doing. And even over the weekend at that rally, Trump said, you know, Biden is holed up at Camp David and here I am. Even asking the crowd, how should I approach him? Should I be strong and come out and hit him? You know, should I be nice to him? So there's kind of that little waffling there, kind of lowering the stakes a little bit as well. When he talks about Biden and the quote, drugs that he may take. Trump has said over and over again that they're going to give Biden some type of shot, and that's how he will go out there and be very strong and invigorated, something they haven't seen before. That is kind of the strategy to lower the stakes that perhaps if him and Biden do have a very contentious debate, that's why, and it's not due to anything else that Biden's preparation had done. Aaron, there are some rules this time around. No live audience. Uh, mics will be muted while the other person is talking. These are all new. So what type of impact do you think that this will have on the candidates' debate style? Well, the format invites more structure to this debate. If you watch the, uh, the 2020 uh, two debates between these two men, uh, there was a lot of crosstalk, a lot of interruptions, primarily from Trump, but as well from President Biden. So that's going to be something to watch on Thursday is how do they uh, deal with the muted microphones? Do they still try and speak? over each other, that's going to be something to watch. Um, so, Olivia, you actually spoke to some Trump supporters about what they were really hoping to see in this debate. What did they tell you? It was actually really surprising to hear from some of these voters that I spoke to at that rally over the weekend. A lot of them told me they're kind of anxious and a little, you know, wary of what's going to go on in the debate, mainly because they're interested in how Trump will come off. A lot of voters told me off camera they're excited to see this debate and see what Trump does. They're also a little worried about the personal attacks against Biden. A lot of these voters told me they would prefer that Trump talks about his record and focuses on the issues rather than attacking Biden. And take a listen to what these two young voters told me specifically about that. I don't really want him to attack Biden because, like, if he attacks Biden, I mean, because like everyone, like a lot of people already know that like Biden's really not that good. Like, I mean, that's my opinion, but it's just like he hasn't been doing well. And just by attacking Biden, Trump would kind of just like make himself kind of go down. I don't really want them to attack each other. I just kind of want them to like both share their opinions. Now, those two voters told me, of course, they just want him to focus on the issues and less of the personal attacks. And I've heard that time and time again from some of these voters. So it'll be interesting to see if Trump actually listens to what some of his base is telling him about this approach to Biden. That's actually pretty refreshing. I, mm. I hope that is the case. I hope that's what ends up happening with this debate. Olivia and Aaron, thank you so much. Uh, you can uh, follow along with CBS News 24-7 for the first presidential debate. Coverage will begin this Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern on America Decides and then stream the live debate at 9 p.m. Eastern right here on CBS News 24-7.